Hi, my name is Felix Connolly. I'm a systems engineer for BMW M Team RLL, and welcome to Tech Tuesday. So these are some of the looms that make up the core electrical wiring looms of the BMW M Hybrid V8. We have our main chassis loom here, which you can see is distinguished by this big box, which centralizes all of the looms that are around the car to one central point for the main electronic control units, such as the engine control unit here, our ECU. This controls the engine and other powertrain functions of the car, along with taking inputs from sensors to allow the car to function in the optimal way. Some of the looms that connect from the chassis loom are the side pod looms here. We have one side pod loom and the other on the other side. These will power stuff like the transponders, the number panels on the side of the car that you see illuminate, and the leader light panels which say which position of class we're in. At the rear, you have your rear end loom. This is inside the tail. This powers your brake lights, your rain lights. It also has a few sensors inside, such as our rear ride height laser. At the front, you have similar again. You have your headlights, you have your tire temp sensors, you have your kidney lights, the very uh, distinguishable BMW brand. There. You'll notice there are three boxes around the car. These are our sensors, sensor boxes. They take sensor inputs from the hubs and we'll take a closer look at those now. So this is our rear right loom box. This connects a lot of the sensors from the rear right hub to the car, to the main system to be fed back towards the centralized chassis loom. As you can see, there are nine inputs on the, on the box from the, from the hub. And this loom here is what feeds along the drive shaft towards the hub. And on it, you have sensors such as the, the wheel speed sensors, and you have brake disc temp sensors, and you have accelerometers in the hub. All this information allows the engineers to be able to deduce if there's issues with the hub or with this specific axle. On the front, we have very similar again, but there's different inputs. There are instead this time 13 inputs for sensors, but you've got stuff such as the throttle pedal, you have the brake pedal, you have the brake pressure, and then you again have another loom that leads out to your hub. Inside the wiring looms that I've, I've just shown you, there are a series of small individual wires. This nine pin connector here, as you can see, has nine different colors of wire. The shielding is colored to allow you to identify easily which wire it is and what it will carry. Inside the shielding, there is metal copper, and that will take, that's a, a good conductor for your signal, your power, or your ground, among other things. A traditional wheel speed sensor has three pins. That means there are three wires inside your shielding or your heat shrink that come to the sensor itself. Pin one is likely to be your power, pin two is your signal, i.e. your wheel speed, and pin three is your ground. One half of the connector pair contains a pin, such as this, as you can see inside. And then the other half of the connector will contain a socket, as such. These pin and sockets, when you connect the connector, will connect together like this and form a strong connection for your signal, your power or ground to come through. All of these wires send your electrical signals back to your control units. As discussed earlier, we talked about the ECU, the engine control unit. As you can see, they have a multitude of pins that will allow different inputs to come into the ECU and allow different uh, instructions or anything to come back out to the rest of the car. So now we're going to take a look at what a chassis loom inside the car might look like. As you can see, this car is currently being assembled and the chassis loom is one of the first things to be installed. The main box here with the carbon has been bolted to the side and you can start to see how the loom will shape and form through the car. As we laid it out, we saw that it would extend quite far towards the nose of the car. And you can see that it reaches all the way down the long and towards where one of the sensor boxes might be at the front. You can see where our ECU will sit, which will be here, and the looms will allow all the wires to feed through towards our ECU, another control box here. There are roughly 45 looms in the car and 150 sensors. The sensors are especially important as they feed all the data towards this C80 box here, which will log and transmit telemetry for the engineers to look at during the race. And that's the basics of the BMW M Hybrid V8 electrical system. I'm Felix, this has been Tech Tuesday. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.